I am here today in my road to Tokyo and I would like to introduce you Marcus Hafel. Why is he so important for me in my road to Tokyo? Because he takes care of me. I take care of my horses and he's taking good care of me that I can ride the horses very good after. So Marcus is a natural doctor and also a muscles training doctor. And maybe I would ask you, Marcus, to introduce yourself better than myself. But he's been helping me for many years and I'm very happy to be here today. Sure, thank you. So my, my way was a uh, carpenter first, a lot of back problems. And so I had to find a way to handle my back. And I made a physiotherapist, then I did a psychological part, then I did acupuncture parts. So a lot of um, exams. And my way was always to keep people flexible. And strong. That's what I need to ride, right? Right. Yeah. And then, because yeah. your horse can feel your body. Yeah. And so now we try to find a way to make you flexible and relaxed. And if you need tension, you can. If not, you can release. So this is my way yeah. to prepare you. That's great. And uh, now we're going to show some exercises that we can do by ourselves, but also with the help of Marcus. And later on, even, he's going to have a surprise for you but that is just later on just keep connected with us and uh, learn with us so Marcus what I need to write the position the best position to write is when I'm a little bit like this and then um, I go forwards with my body to make the jump but then I come back and I think all these years have been causing me a little bit like you know my back has been like yeah. <laughs> getting short instead of longer so I would say when you show me these pictures here, I would be here in the bicycle. That would be a little bit more my position, going forwards and then backwards and then tension, relax. And, you know, the shoulders sometimes get always a bit too much like in front, yeah, but that's right. a bad position. So what would be the best position? And the legs always, yes. Pressure, yes, pressure. I have to pressure and yeah. have the connection here with my horse. So I'm always in a way in tension. Okay. So, so one of the problems? And it's not only the horse, you have to come to a place for your championships. So you're sitting a lot in cars, in the planes, whatever. And one of these old things our body has, if you get stress, it means fight or flight reaction. So you bite here, then you squeeze, then normally you go for fight. Yeah. But you cannot, you have to ride your horse. Okay, so here is, you can make a fight if you are strong enough. You can fly if you're fast enough, or you can make like that. So, we can nothing of this here. So, okay. your body starts here with your jaw. This muscle, masseta, oh, before it's in your conscious that there's stress. This is biting. This means a pattern is starting here to squeeze. Means on your horse, it's the same pattern. And he feels that. You, you feel, and the horse can feel it. Yeah. So one of the problems, we have to um, change this muscle so he can relax if you want and not always biting. One of a really easy way, in yoga there's an exercise, it's called the lion. So you open your mouth, tongue out mm -hmm. and watch up. We need in our stress, Why you water? it's a, the exercise. Okay. And normally you, you go for the same way with the eyes, like your jaw goes or your head. Mm -hmm. So we separate this pattern, we start, you open the mouth like in yoga, and then you take the spoon, That's you, yeah, to me. you got this, okay. so you take the spoon upwards between your teeth and now slowly and smooth, bite a little bit, hold it for two or three sec um, breathings, mm -hmm. so breathe with your belly. Because if you start breathing here, you are tight like this here. So we try to get the shoulders down by breathing. One of the bad things, you get the belly out. Normally you try to get the belly in. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's better to blend it out. So if you make three or four breathings, it's okay. Over. And now you start doing it every day, sometimes, if you are in office, if you are on your, not on the horse, but on the way to your horse or in the plane or in the car, you always three, four, five seconds. And right. put it away. So I can have it in my back and then I have it with me and I can do it. A lot of people have it in the car. So just you can reach it and bite so, and okay. So this is in a way just to release the stress. 
the first part of the stress. The first part of the stress, yeah. when we get tense. If you start and your so tension. we do, and then... Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's a lot of uh, books like um, um, Balance in Movings. There's a uh, horse riding. They describe how you can, by your mind, get the horse moving. So even if the, the horse can feel this tension, it will react. Anyway, okay. so better you relax as much as possible. That's, good. That's already a very good tip. And okay. then we can do that very easily in our lives, right? In our very daily easy. life, it's very easy to have one like this. And then we can do that. How many times a day we should do that? It, you brush the teeth okay. two or three days, times a day. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. That's nice. The good thing about this, the old pictures here, the meridians, they start from the jaw and go all over in the arms, down. So the jaw is one of the old known part it's really important so it's not only our idea it's an old idea and i think it's something that not so many people really think about or even uh, working about it right even as sportsmen or trainers I, I had a lot of trainers um, they don't know anything about the jaw how important it is in america now they start um, getting like um, plastic for the teeth mm -hmm. by sportsmen but it's, yeah. sta it's starting okay it's not new so for me, it's one of the important things here. So you see, very easy thing to start and already practice in your daily life. 